Hello and welcome to the 2020 Formula Kite Mixed Team Relay European Championships in Ebensee, Lake Traunsee, Austria. As one of the first classes in the world to resume proper racing, many eyes were on the organisers, a responsibility that wasn't taken lightly by them. They were keen to prove that with careful management and cooperation, fair and competitive racing could take place, critical for the class that has recently been selected for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Welcome uh, to Lake Traunsee and uh, to Upper Austria. Uh, we are very happy to host the first European Championship in uh, Kite Foil Mixed Relay with uh, participants out of nine nations and uh, 38 riders. Uh, we are very happy to have this uh, event in a very difficult year here on our lake and in our region. Uh, it's the first big event since the whole uh, Corona shutdown and uh, we are really happy to uh, see all these young people here racing on our lake and uh, enjoying time here together with us and with all the, the, the audience uh, watching them doing uh, high-speed racing on our Alpine Lake. Located 423 meters above sea level, Lake Traunsee is the deepest lake anywhere in Austria. Surrounded by mountains, its geographical characteristics provide excellent wind conditions throughout the year. This, combined with its location, makes it an ideal spot for sports enthusiasts, attracting many visitors each year. Well, the Lake Traunsee region, where we are here now, is uh, renowned for water sports. Obviously, on a, on a lake in the mountains, you have a very nice landscape. It's very picturesque. And because of the good wind conditions, it's ideal for all kinds of sailing sports, be it sailing, be it kite surfing. Uh, and people come from all over the world uh, to use this lake for water sports. And that is also one of the special things. Uh, we are one of the few lakes and regions in Austria where you can do all kinds of water sports that you can imagine. And the Salzkammergut, uh, which is the biggest region here, is a typical holiday and leisure region and is renowned for its culture, its sports uh, and its landscape. So you have the best of all combinations and it's just an ideal spot for your leisure and free time. The IKA took the chance to present the new Olympic racing format at Traunsee Lake. Designed to make the racing easier to follow, the competitor who crosses the finish line in first place in the final race wins the overall event. The racing stays fair and avoids a winner-takes-all scenario which is often affected by chance. It is proving to be exciting and getting better all the time, with the racing no longer being a follow-the-leader style procession, but with exciting lead changes often occurring. Formula Kite class for the Olympic format, we have decided to do something different. Uh, not the normal just pointing counts together, but to have an elimination stage at the end. Uh, the beginning of the regatta is quite similar to any sailing regatta, an opening series where we do a lot of races in, in different combinations of, of competitors and then we get a ranking from that. In the final we have four teams then and the two that already pre-qualified from the opening series get an advantage. The leader of the opening series gets two match points, the second place gets one match point and the other two just make the final, that's the winners of the two semi-finals before. In the final, we are then racing until one team reaches three points. Obviously, the best chances has the team that was leading the opening series and has already two match points. They only need one more win. The new format was combined with team relay racing, where each team consisted of one man and one woman, raced the same course one after the other. The event attracted some of the best teams in the world who were looking to lift the 2020 Formula Kite Mixed Team Relay European Championship title. 
a very intense format of sailing, I would say. They're uh, reaching some pretty cool speeds, uh, very fast. Uh, one lap around the course is about two minutes, and then they're doing a changeover between a guy and a girl in the middle of that, and um, then the next one does a lap. So, yeah, it's quite a cool format, actually. It's the first time I've seen it. We've uh, been working pretty hard on our changeovers, and trying to focus a lot on that and also just the strategies around the course. Being a two minute race, there's not a lot of passing opportunity. So yeah, it's pretty important your position and uh, where you're positioning yourself and your kite and your board. So let's find out the outcome of the competitive racing. The 19 teams were split into three fleets during the first two days of the qualification series. After seven races, the best six of them proceeded to the final series, where they had the chance to fight for a spot in the prestigious finals. Uh, I think we're just kind of taking every day as it comes. We're just going to go into it the same as today, just kind of You've got to have confidence in yourself and in your partner um, and I have confidence in Guy and I think we'll just keep doing what we're doing as it seems to be working at the moment and fingers crossed it'll, it'll all go well. The battles out on the water were intense during the opening two days. The final series in the leaderboard was shuffled race by race. At the end of the second day, defending European champions Connor Bainbridge and Ellie Aldridge took first place, whilst Florian Gruber and Leonie Mayer sailed consistently and with three third places in the last three races, they won the second prestigious final spot. I'm not super happy with my performance today, but I try to be as close as possible to the other girls, or maybe like to leave some of them behind me. So Florian um, had like a not too bad starting position, and then he managed to like get some of the guys then. So yeah, we finally made it to the, the finals tomorrow. Um, we are super happy about that. On the final day, coined Super Sunday, the semi-finals and the big final took place. The action started with the semi-finals, where the teams had one last chance to progress into the grand final. Guy Bridge and Katie Dobson dominated their group, while in the other semi-final group, the Spanish team Alessandro Clement and Gisela Pelido took everyone by surprise, and by scoring a second and a first, they qualified into the finals. In the grand finals, Connor and Ellie just needed one win to be crowned European champions, and they did it in the very first race. Despite a valiant effort from Florian Gruber and Leonie Mayer, they had to settle for silver, with Guy Bridge and Katie Dobson completing the podium in third. It was great to race with, you know, three of my good mates around the race course and then yeah it was great to watch Ellie bring it home as well so yeah it was an amazing amazing way to finish a week. It's been really really cool I, as, as Connor said like everyone's so good that to even get through to the finals is a massive achievement I think. Thank you.